Hey guys, uh, this video we're going to show you how to make a Minecraft server for 1.4.7. Alright, so you're going to want to open your browser. I use Google Chrome, so we're going to open that up. I'll go to Google and type in bucket. Alright, now just Google that presenter and click on the first link. It should be bucket.org. Here, you will find what they call the bucket forms, I'll say. And there usually is like a link on this side of the screen that's like the the update like of of Craft Bucket, which is the server runs on. But since Minecraft 1.4.7 just got released not too long ago, they just have betas right here. Beta right there. 1.4.7 beta 1. So to get this download, we're gonna to to go to continue reading and scroll down to download craft bucket R0.1 here. Now you click on that, it should download. And if it comes up like this, just keep it. There's nothing gonna be wrong with it. And you just pretty much have to wait for it to download. But in the meanwhile, you should probably go into get craft bucket, this little thing at the top of the screen. <clears throat> now once you're here, you click it on your computer, right? I'm using Windows, so I'm going to click on Windows. And you need uh, Java, obviously, for this. And you need to copy this right here. Jeez. Copy this. Um, go to your home screen. Make a new folder. And I'm just going to call it server. Because I already have Minecraft right here. Minecraft server. So the server. We're just going to. So we go click on that. And make a new. Text document. Like that. Now you don't need to name it right now. Just click on it. And paste what you just copied. Now this is a crucial part. You need to save as. And you need. To, you can call it whatever you want. But I just prefer to call it run. Jeez. I like to call it run. God, I can't type. But this, you need to put in dot .bat. This will make it a CMD file. Now you save it, and you exit out of that file. Now it should give you this little icon right here. You can delete this text document, and that's your what that that's what you click on to start the server. Now you need to take this thing we're still downloading at the moment. But I have it downloaded into my downloads folder, so I'm just going to wait for it to get to my downloads folder. I don't know why these are on here, but... Alright, well, it should be almost done. But anyways, pretty much this bucket will allow you to use pretty much... They're kind of like mods, it's just like a different kind of mod. But it's not really cheating or anything, and it's where you can use commands and... Oh, okay, it's done. So now I go into your downloads or wherever you download it to. Just drag that right onto your desktop. Now you want to drag that right on into your your folder or whatever you have your uh, run file in. Now you need to rename this and delete everything except craft bucket. You need to do this or else it will not work properly. And now you're good. You just run the server. Should come up with this. It's preparing spawn area. This is normal, by the way. It just looks kind of weird, but it's totally normal, totally fine. And that's pretty much it. Like, I'm not gonna show you guys how to like make it, how to port forward your server or whatever, because that's what you need to do to have your friends play on it. Cause I, I just don't want to do that. It's complicated and everyone has different routers. You can look, look up a different video for that. Maybe sometime I'll do it. But now, just to stop the server, you just type in stop, nothing in front of it, and press enter. I'll save the world, and press any key, continue, and I'll exit out. Now, when you go back into your folder, oops, he's wrong folder. When you go back into your Minecraft folder, right here, you'll have all these new things, right? So right here, you just drag and drop any plugin you want, like 
If you go to Bucket Forms, you can download the plugin. Just drop it right in here. You don't need to do anything else. As long as it's as it's a jar file, and you can delete this world, or you can uh, you can um, replace this world with the world you had in single single player, or you can download the world. Doesn't really matter. Band IP is pretty self-explanatory. You type in someone's IP and it bans the server, band players, and um, pretty much you can whitelist it. And you need to go into this server run file right here, not that one, the one, this one, right? Now you can call whatever you want. I'm just gonna call it test. And her server IP is what your like what your there's not a video for that. You just have to figure it out. But you can change your server porn if you want. I'm just gonna call my world world, but you can call whatever you want. Loud nether true, loud flight false. You can just change any of these to true. So I'm gonna call this testing Minecraft. And so you can pretty much generate any world you want, just like in single player, it's just a little bit different. Um, spawn animals true, snooper enabled yes, hardcore false, text pack, you can put any text pack if you want in there, online mode, pretty much that means like, if people can play offline and just be player, they can join, I wouldn't recommend putting it on, but if you never really want, now definitely I would change max players, especially if you have a computer like mine, I only have 4 gigs of RAM, dual core, 2 gigahertz processor, I, maximum I want to do is 10 or 15, so I'm just going to put that 10. And pretty much everything else is good. You make sure you sa save all these files and you can just exit out of them. But now I'm going to show you how to get plugins, right? So you, you can open your plugins file. Now go back to bucket. Scroll up to the top. All right, so you can go back to the regular bucket.org, right? And bucket dot org right now there's this little tab here called get plugins click on that and you can search a plugin you can go with any of these rules I'd recommend getting a plugin called essentials essentials and and you just you click on whatever I don't know why it's not searching search you click on whatever plugin you search for. You can just read the stuff it tells you about it. Like, because there's some incompatibilities with other plugins. But all you do is you press download. And yeah, I just recommend Essentials. And I also recommend J Commands. Commands. Sorry, I can't spell. And that, that's good, also a good plugin. It's pretty much a really cool thing. I. You can pretty much do whatever you want, and it's a pretty cool thing. Well, thank you guys for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe. It really helps us out. Small channel trying to grow. Thank you. Bye.